Hi, I'm Dr. Tarone Lodog, physician, teacher, and author of National Geographic's Life is Your Best Medicine. Come and join me on a journey towards healing, health, and wholeness. I'm a firm believer that we should try to get most of the nutrients that we need from whole foods. However, I'm also an advocate for the use of a multivitamin as an insurance against gaps in the diet, especially for those of us who don't eat perfectly every day. But you know, multivitamins are not all created equal, and you have to be a very savvy consumer when you go down to the health food store or your local grocery store to purchase your multivitamin. There's a couple things that I want to really focus on that I want you to look for. One is vitamin A. Too much of the preformed vitamin A, it'll say on the label, vitamin A as palmitate or acetate. That's how you know it's the retinol form of the preformed vitamin A I'm talking about. You don't want more than 2,500 IUs in your vitamin every day. More than that has been shown to actually increase the risk for fragility fractures to make your bones more brittle. Now, the other thing you want to look for in your multivitamin is make sure you're getting enough vitamin D3. Now, there's different forms of vitamin D, but cholecalciferol or vitamin D3 is the most active form. And you really want to find a multivitamin that's got somewhere between 600 and 1,000 international units per day. Multivitamins are best taken with the largest meal of the day because you want to have some fat in your meal to help absorb that vitamin A, the D, the E, and the K. The arena of dietary supplements is really my special area of expertise. And that's why I wrote an entire chapter in my book on multivitamins and other supplements, how to help you identify the right multivitamin for you, as well as other vitamins and minerals that may be important for you based on your age, based on any, any kind of health problems that you are particularly dealing with. So if you'd like to learn more about this, please pick up my book, Life is Your Best Medicine.